brothers and sisters in the risen lord third week of advent 22 12 2023 friday hatch matthew stays in christ god keeps mercy for thousands in christ god keeps mercy for thousands hanna was the mother of the prophet samuel her husband had another wife penina penina had a children whereas hanna had none when she went to the holy place she looked to worship god she prayed to the lord and wept bitterly for a male child god heard her prayer and gave her a son samuel she dedicated him as a nazarite for god in shilo after having a son shilo after having her son at shilo she sang the praises of god she prayed my heart exult in the lord my strength is exalted in my god there is no holy one like the lord he raises the poor from the dust first samuel chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 hannah's prayer is the pattern for mary's magnificat as hannah prays god for his mighty deed in giving us son so to mary prays god's might holiness and mercy in sending the long awaited messiah into the world to redeem his people in today's gospel we heard the magnificat mary sang a praise after great after hearing the greetings of elizabeth mary responded with her own song of praise yahweh in a song of praise mary praises three attributes of god let's note mary prays god's might mary prays god's might god the almighty is said mary had done great things for me he had lifted up from the low state and exalted her above every other creature has for she would be called blessed not only by the people of that generation but also by all the generation it was the might of the lord which made a virgin to conceive and it was a great thing on the part of god to send the long awaited messiah into the world when she asked the angel how she could conceive when she is still a virgin the angel said to her the holy spirit will come upon you the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you look chapter 1 verse 35 mary perceived and foretold the arm of the lord which manifested in bygone days through mighty works wrought on behalf of the israelites the coming messiah she perceived the mighty power of god manifested in the old testament in saving israel made visible in jesus he could scatter the proud and the rich and exalt the lowly he will save he will free feed the hungry and set the rich away empty how prophetic mary was in foreseeing the great works of jesus her son mary praised god's holiness mary further continued singing god's praises she said holy is his name 
God in the Old Testament is only a, through His mighty deeds of redemption. The psalmist says, God sent a redemption to His people. He has commanded His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is His name. Psalm 111 verse 9. God manifested His name through His mighty deeds and men recognized His holiness through His mighty deeds. Later, the early Christian would recognize the crucified and risen Christ as the embodiment of God's holiness. St. Peter in his sermon accused the Jews saying, You rejected the holy and righteous one. Acts chapter 3 verse 14. But Mary was the first one to recognize the holiness of the Messiah. It was already revealed to her by the angel that the child whom she would conceive would be called holy. Luke chapter 1 verse 35. In the great redemption, of redemption that Christ our Lord wrought by his death and resurrection, we should recognize his holiness. Mary praised God's mercy. Mary praised God's mercy. Mary sang, God's mercy is for those who fear him from the generation to generation. God's greatest manifestation of his mercy is shown in the sending of his only begotten son into the world to die upon the cross for the expiation of our sins. The new covenant in Jesus is a manifestation of God's endless mercy from generation to generation. The endless mercy of God is given to all those who fear him. God will look upon him with a particular favor who looks upon him with a filial fear. In Christ Jesus, in Jesus Christ, God has laid treasures of mercy and grants this mercy to all those who love him and do his abiding. Let's pray for this grace during this Eucharist sacrifice. May God bless you all.